Now we were using the browser and view source in the last video to kind of test to make sure what we did here in the uh, data page function to see if that worked. And now I want to take this opportunity to show you um, a way to kind of debug things like this. And we're going to take advantage of a function in PHP called print underscore r. And what that's going to do is spit out all the values inside of an array. And to just kind of test out this and show what it does first, let's just go ahead and do this within the uh, container. So let's go ahead and do our PHP tags. Inside here, we're going to do print underscore r. And in the parentheses, it's going to want to know what we're printing. And it's going to be our page array. And go ahead and close this with a semicolon. And we'll save this. Go ahead and refresh. And uh, you can see what it did here. It uh, kind of made a mess. And by default, it prints all these things in line. And uh, I want to make this a little easier to read. So we're actually going to put this within what's called the uh, pre-tags. This means pre-formatted. So go ahead and save this. And refresh. There you go. Now jQuery already has some uh, CSS to uh, style the pre-tags. And that's this kind of rounded uh, light gray box. So now you can see it's printing out the values of each one of the keys. So here's our body. This is unedited. And you can see that our, uh, our image is in there. Then we have body and no HTML, which you can see it's stripped out the image, because we're not seeing an image over here to the right. And then body formatted has our image in it. So this would have been a way to test to see that things were working right. Now, this is a little obnoxious and not, not going to work for what we're doing. Now, one option we could do here is we can come over here to setup.php. What we can do is run an if statement. So above this pre-tag, let's make some PHP tags. And we'll do if. And uh, we're going to take advantage of that get array. So get. And uh, for the key, we'll call this debug. And we first need to make sure that this has been set. Otherwise, PHP is going to throw up some errors. So let's make sure this is set. So make sure this is uh, got another parenthesis wrapped around it. So if is set debug is equal to one, then we're going to show this debug area. But we're going to break the PHP. So get rid of the second curly bracket, close the PHP, and then come down here, another PHP tag. Close that with the curly bracket, and there you go. So let's test this out. Save this, hop over to our browser, and refresh, and there it shows nothing. However, if we add another parameter up here in the URL, we do and, and we call it debug, so debug equals one. There you go. So here's a way to quickly spit out some information if you wanted to know. And we can put a lot of stuff in here, not just the page array, but as we build more things, uh, more, more of these uh, kind of data functions, we can add them to this list. So by default, it's not going to show up. 